So after making the video about Big Red, I finally got motivated to tidy up a few things that weren't necessarily issues, but were just things that were left unfinished. I shared on Twitter that I finally pulled the remote board and replaced those scratchy pots with better quality ones from Arcade Parts and Repair. I even went a little overboard and replaced all of the pots on all of my remote boards. I also decided it was time to finally pull the stock paper cone speakers and upgrade those. Now these may be a little overkill, at least without a proper amp, but these are pretty good and while they're not high end, they're definitely cleaner than the originals. And that brings me to the next item, the sticks. You guys have heard me gush about the IL Euro joysticks a lot. It's definitely the way you want to go for an authentic American style feel. I have two of them here on the Neo Geo that replaced the originals. But even though they were a little beat up, I kept those originals. I kept them for a day like today, where I would attempt to restore them to former glory. So these were already semi apart from when I took them off of the cabinet. As you can see here, there's a little rust on these. So let's go ahead and take care of that first. The easiest solution for this is evapo rust, which works like magic on metal parts. I used a lot of this on the virtual racing machine and it made me a true believer. So you just dump some of this into a bucket and toss in the sticks. I usually allow parts to sit overnight. And oh yeah, the clips that hold these on are pretty rusted out too, so in they go. Next, I'm just going to take apart the bases. I'm going to remove each of the four micro switches here on the bottom. And let's be honest, these may never be going back on. Once those are off, you can simply take the four corner screws off to separate the two pieces. And here you can see the internals of this, and boy, is this just dusty, rusty, and gross. Lots of general cleaning desperately needed here. You'll also note the springs are actually in pretty good shape overall, but rusted out like the other metal parts. So of course the springs and these screws all get dropped into the evapo rust bucket to soak overnight. The rest of this stuff just needs scrubbed and cleaned. Regular dish soap with another cameo by Scrub Daddy here. This stuff is never going to be perfect, but at least you know the loose sediment and most of the grime is off of it. Some pieces will retain their rust stains, but hey, at least you know they're clean. So now that the parts have soaked overnight, you just have to pull and rinse them with water. The other cool thing here about Evapo Rust is that it's reusable, to a degree of course. You'll eventually hit a point where it will cease to work, but this is a relatively fresh bucket, so I'm going to dump that right back into its container. I always use a funnel with a paper towel to help filter out the rust bits and sediment from the parts that I just soaked. I think the springs came out remarkably improved here in my opinion. The sticks look good too, but are still worn from their age. I decided I would put a coat of Rust-Oleum on these to make them look a little shinier. So the next thing to do was to reassemble the base pieces with the freshly de-rusted spring. And those micro switches that we took off earlier, now they've had their day and they have served these sticks well, but it's time to put on brand new and very clicky micro switches to really make this stick feel fresh. And here's the actual stick after having been freshly painted. I'll warn you that although this looks good, it was flaking a bit on me. Not sure this was such a great idea, but at least it looks good for now. The last part to reassembling is putting the stick in and orienting the actuator properly here on the bottom. You want the fatter part facing upwards and closest to the switches. This is the proper orientation for an eight-way joystick. If you flip it around the other way, it will function as a four-way stick as it's only able to trip one switch at a time. And finally, I slid the now rust-free clip on to complete the rehab process. Overall, these don't look too shabby and they're definitely more reliable now from a functionality standpoint as well. 
The only thing left to do now is to install them on Big Red. This is a tough decision because I really like how the Euro ILs feel, but these sticks are the originals. I decided to just replace one stick for now so that I have the option to switch between the two versions if I want. Aesthetically, it doesn't look great, but it's nice to have options and eventually I'll just make a decision to go full original or back to the Euros. And having both hooked up will help me decide. So which sticks do you guys like better on this setup? I kind of am leaning towards going original, but it's just a matter of whether I can get used to playing with those over the Euros. The original Neo Geo sticks are definitely a stiffer stick and you need to use just a little bit more force with them than you would the ILs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time. Later, guys.